I wonder why it is. Rational, intelligent, successful people do stupid things. And I wonder why it is rational, intelligent, successful people miss the obvious. Well, leaders, I'm going to give you three reasons. Reason number one, why people do stupid things, miss the obvious, put it bluntly, you're knackered. You're exhausted. You've been working phenomenal hours, waking up at four in the morning, stressed about stuff that you haven't dealt with from the night before, checking your emails, your weekend, you're in the room but you're not in the room because you're still doing stuff there and you're not, you know, your kids are talking to you but you're not there and so much is happening and your kind of energy is being sucked out of you at times and you'd love to do a bit of recreation time and all that but I ain't got the time and I realise there'll be times when that's the case. So in the world of work, sorry, in the world of sport, sports people are stretched to achieve their best performance. But what they will always build into a sports person's training programme is recovery time. Recovery time does not mean you take a week off. It might mean over the weekend, Saturdays, I don't, sw I don't check my emails. That during a busy day, you say, you know what? I am going to just go out for 10, 15 minutes, get some fresh air, whatever. Because sometimes we are doing stupid things and missing the obvious, we're knackered, we're exhausted. Reason number two, very simply this. You're on a treadmill, busy rushing doing, busy rushing doing, busy rushing doing, busy rushing doing. And I guess I'm not a member of Vistage as such, but I've obviously worked with a lot of the groups. I guess what it does, and most of you will know this, is it gives people a bit of a chance, doesn't it, just to get out of their busyness for a day and press pause and do some stopping, thinking and reflecting. But other people, sometimes, I ain't got time for those kind of things. You know, I can't afford the time. And I'm sometimes thinking, can you afford not to do things like that or get yourself a coach? You know, but sometimes it's like it's head down, work hard. And we're missing the obvious and we're doing stupid things. Third reason is what I call emotional involvement. So you're knackered, you're exhausted, it's to do with fatigue. You're busy rushing doing, or it's emotional involvement. What do I mean by that? I do one-to-one -one coaching. And um, I'm not really a business coach. I don't help people to know how to build their business. I'm more helping people deal with some of the challenges from a people perspective, or their own mindset, or their own confidence. And people talk to me about all kinds of issues sometimes that are going on in work with, with a customer, with one of their team, with their own boss. Or they tell me about stuff going on in their personal life with their partner or their ex-partner or a friend or a relative or one of their kids if they have kids. Here's what I find fascinating. If I am listening from what you might call a detached objective perspective, I am really good. I've been able to say, well, if you'd have responded differently there, you'd have got a much better outcome. But when I'm emotionally involved, when it's to do with my business, what are my sumo team? What are my customers? My wife? What are my two kids? Guys, when I'm emotionally involved, I don't always see so clearly how to respond. Can anybody relate to that? It's like the brain fog descends. Here's the reality. The higher your emotional involvement, the lower your rational perspective. 